a note on plate load test as per IS, 1888 to check SBC, by Pushpendrakima, Rodic Consultants Private Limited, this technical note describe the methodology. How to conduct a plate load test in the field to ensure the SBC and settlement of founding strata under a given load. The test essentially consists in loading a rigid steel plate at founding level, and determine the settlements corresponding to each load increment, equipments. The following equipments are required to conduct a plat load test. 25 mm bearing plate 60 60 square centimeters, square in size, size of test plat must be 4 times of maximum grain size of strata. 4 dial gauge up to 0.01 mm accuracy, should be calibrated. Hydraulic jack of required capacity. It should be calibrated. Datum beam 2 numbers, procedure. First of all we have to make a test pit generally at founding level. The width of test pit the test must be 5 times of the test plate. It must be leveled properly. And it must be sure no disturbance take place during test. Then we make a loading platform for gravity loading on plat as given in fig 1. Level test location below test plat re level by 4 to 5 mm thick layer of sand in such way that plate must be fully contact with horizontal ground. All equipments should be arranged according to fig 1 as hydraulic jack datum bar dial gauge and pressure gauge etc. After connecting all equipment we should first apply a seating load 7 grams slash cm2 on plat and after few seconds it would be removed and the settlement reading should be noted. Now we have to start increment loading and the settlement reading should be recorded for each increment when settlement stopped or reaches below 0.02 mm per minute. The all reading should be recorded as per given format. The settlement reading should be recorded for each increment of load after an interval of 1, 2.25, 4, 6.25, 9, 16 and 25 minutes and thereafter when the settlement reaches near to the 0.02 millimeters. This is the test arrangement in field which shows the arrangement of loading platform, jack, bearing plat etc. After recording the settlement reading the next increment of load should be apply and further the reading must be recorded as described above. The load increase up to the required SBC or can be go up to the ultimate strength of the strata, failure point as per requirement settlement reading. At last the rebound observation must be recorded during unloading. Then we have to calculate the mean settlement reading and plot them on pressure versus settlement as well as log log graph to the failure point on graphs. The total settlement of footing strata should be calculated from this formula. This is load vs settlement graphs which shows ultimate bearing capacity of different type of soil. This is log log scale which shows ultimate yield stress and elastic and plastic zone. Advantage of PLT. It provides the available bearing pressure at the considering both shear failure and settlement. Extraction of sample not required to lab. Provide actual status of strata at site. Quick and fast. Disadvantage of PLT. It reflect the limited behavior of strata below test plate. Not predicted long term consolidation settlement of clay soil. I is again advised to you must subscribe, like and click on bell icon on main page to get further updates. You can also comment on this video. Thanks for your valuable time.